Now this is an example grub test problem. We want to find g calc for the grubs test. And we also want to know, should the outlier be rejected with 95% confidence? And so this is our data, 5, 10, 9.5, 9.8, and 9.9. .9. And so 5 is the outlier. We want to know if this outlier should be rejected with 95% confidence. And so let's get started. So the formula for g calc is equal to absolute value, the questionable value, the outlier, minus average, divided by the standard deviation. And so now we will first calculate our average, which is pretty simple. We add up these numbers and we have one, two, three, four, five, and we divide by five. So we have five plus 10 plus 9.5 plus 9.8 plus 9.9, divided by the numbers we have. We have one number, two number, three number, four number, five number. So five, and we would get 8.84. Next, we will calculate the standard deviation. And so this will equal the square root. So we have, first number is five. So five minus average. Average is 8.84, close parentheses, squared, plus. Next number, next number is 10, 10 minus 8.84, close parentheses, squared, plus, next number, 9.5 minus 8.84, close parentheses, squared, plus, next number, 9.8 minus 8.84, close parentheses, squared, plus, next number, 9.9 .9, uh, minus 8.84, close parentheses, squared, and the square root would also apply to, we divide this whole entire thing, this numerator right here, divided by n minus one. So we have five numbers, so n is five, so five minus one, and so this right here would give us 2.155. And so this is what we had, we had the square root, we added up all these numbers, and in the denominator we had five minus one, which is included in our square root and we got 2.155. So finally, now we will go back to the formula. So absolute value, questionable value, which is five, minus average, which is 8.84, close absolute value divided by standard deviation, which is 2.155. And so now we will finally calculate G calc. So G calc is equal to the absolute value five minus 8.84, close the absolute value, divided by the standard deviation, 2.155, and we would get 1.782, which we can say is gonna be about 1.8. So this is gcalc, and in order to know if we should remove five, in order to have a 95% confidence, we need to determine g table. So we will go up. So if n is equal to four, g table is 1.463, if n is equal to five, g table is 1.672. So the value is 1.672. Now this is for 95% confidence. This pieces of information right here would be typically given in a big table. So n is equal to five and then g table would be 1.672. So when n is equal to five, g table for 95% confidence was 1.672. And so now we check, g calc, is g calc bigger or smaller than g table? G calc is bigger than G table. And if G calc is bigger than G table, therefore that the outlier should be rejected. So therefore five should uh, be rejected if we want to have a 95% confidence. And that's all we need to do for this problem.